I love the convenience of just opening voice notes and recording a note. It's so easy, so fast. But I also like my organization system on Obsidian. Thankfully, there is a plugin. So let's try this. Uh, I have here my uh, second account of uh, voice notes and Obsidian, and we'll test this here. The first thing to do is, of course, uh, look for the plugin. So let's go to community plugins, browse. The name of the plugin is Voice Notes Sync. Click install. And oh, before enabling it, there are two ways of, you have to uh, log in to your Voice Notes account inside. Uh, the when the settings, the, the, the plugin settings, and I'll do it using my password, my username and password. But there's another way to do it if you are using Apple, Google, or Twitter's uh, 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 OAuth connection to log in if you created your uh, voice notes account using one of this. So if, if you did, you have to go through this other steps here. It's in the description of the plugin. So enable it. And let's go to options. And here's what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to add my email address and my password to connect them. So this is my voice notes, email, and password. OK, just click login. And here it is, successful. Now, let's take a look at all these options here. But before that, uh, let's talk about voice notes. As you already know, the live plan is gone. That offer doesn't exist anymore, but there is a new one. If you click here, upgrade, there is this new offer here, yearly offer. It's for from 120 to $50 a year. It's not as good as the live plan was, but I think it's still pretty good. And if you are planning to upgrade, please use my affiliate link below. You'll pay the same thing and I'll get a small commission, a small fee. OK, let's go back to Obsidian here. Let's keep the synchronization for a moment and go to the formatting down here. So the date format, you can change the date format. This is the date format I use. The file name date format is also the file name date format I use. And here, you can change this if you use a different uh, date format. But here, uh, file name template is how it will be set. So it will be the date in this file format, in this date format, and plus the title of that note. Now. There's a lot that you can do inside the note. I'm not going to touch this today. We'll leave this for another day because this is so much. This is, in fact, it's too much. <laughs> so I'm going to turn this off and we'll use the default note. So uh, the date, title, and then the contents of the note. Here, you can also download the audio file. I'm, I'm going to leave this off because I don't need the, to download the audio. What I'm looking for is the, the text. But if you want to download the audio file, you can uh, switch this on. OK, there's also add a tag to to do's. You can choose a tag that you want to add. Again, I'm not going to use this. And here there is the folder where your notes will go in Obsidian. It created the voice notes. You can see it right here. It created the voice notes. I'll change this in the future uh, to, I mean, in my main account, to the clippings folder, which is the one the new Obsidian Web Clipper uses. And that Web Clipper is so good. <laughs> There's a video coming up soon. <laughs> I, I, I want to try it a little bit more because there are so many options there. OK, back to the this the, the synchronization here. Then there is this auto sync. And that's OK for me. But you can change this. This is minutes. You can change for 10, 15, whatever you want, or turn it off and use the manual uh, synchronization. There are two options here. Reading here, what I'm getting from it is that the full synchronization will synchronize all the nodes, but it's going to be uh, it's going to take longer 
of course it will depend on how many nodes you have this test account here doesn't have a lot of nodes so we'll try that full synchronization in a moment i'll start with the manual sync complete it okay let's close this we'll get back to the full sync in a moment and let's go to voice notes so i don't remember how many notes i have here i don't have a lot because i use this yeah but i think which one is the last yeah i do have a <laughs> few so hello test okay it, this is this was not a full sync but let's take a look here wow wow okay i i, I bet this is not the real attachment I, I think this might be a link let's take a look no it is it downloaded the attachment wow i like this okay i'm betting this doesn't exist yeah yeah it doesn't exist so let's delete this oh i see so these are notes that i don't have here because i didn't download all the notes so it's not finding it as you can see this is not pointing anywhere if i click here it's going to create a note i know that because of the the shade of the green so i'm going to delete this one thing that i would love to have more control over are the properties as you know i have this uh note the template with the properties so this is what i did here uh, I, I told you i was not gonna turn this on but let's just try if this is gonna work so i i added the three dashes to create a property the properties section and the and the closing three dashes if you don't know what i'm talking about Please watch this other video about properties. Okay, I added two properties, the title and the date. Date, a title, uh, column, and then the code. This is the code. All the codes are here. So title will add the title and date will add the date. Where is it? It's already here, but it should be here too somewhere. Audio date. So we can build uh, the properties based on that. So let's try it. Let's close this I'm testing uh, the new voice notes plugin for obsidian and I just want to know if it will create uh, this note with the properties okay now let's go back to obsidian and we'll think okay it's there Uh uh, <laughs> but okay. I'll I'll have to I'll have to take a closer look. Uh, but it's possible because now that I messed it up with the that that template, it created more properties here. So I'll take a look at that. It it, it is possible. And look now, it's working. As you can see, the shades of green are different. This one is a note that exists on my obsidian so if i click here it's creating the link so this ones they were not created because i didn't synchronize the the full all my all my notes uh with uh, obsidian so let's see what's gonna happen here manual sync there we go <laughs> all of them are now there so let's take a look at that so oh now it's all messed up because of this template that's okay this is that's why i do this on my tasks account okay as you can see now they are they are all clickable because all the notes are here anyway if you are a voice notes and obsidian user you have to try this and if you're planning to purchase a subscription please use my affiliate link that's it for this one thanks for watching if it was helpful i'd appreciate a thumbs up and if you want to help even more please consider supporting my channel on patreon or youtube thanks for watching see you soon